Hello and welcome back to this tutorial series on Factorio. In this episode we're going to cover red science packs. Now we have a little bit of a dilemma when it comes to red science and so far as you need to put the cart before the horse a little bit. Before you can actually automate anything you actually have to do it by hand which is going to require a lab and then it's also going to require some uh, you to build some some red science packs by hand. So since the last episode, I just spent some time building building my um, my factory kind of layout so that I can do a lot of things just quickly now. So there's our lab, and we're going to need ten, I believe, or maybe twenty. Anyway, our lab is going to require power, so put it next to a power plant, and now we get first uh, request for technology. Now depending on the game you're playing it will depend on what research you go for quickly. If you're playing a hard mode game you know military is a good idea along with armor crafting and they're both really cheap at 10 science packs each. Because I know that there are no biters around I'm just gonna go for what we need and that's automation. Now automation will allow the first assembly machine which crafts items that require up to two ingredients. To do red science automatically we're going to need that machine so we'll research that and we'll put in well when our science packs finish building we'll put them in. The labs the, the first lab you put down you just plonk it anywhere because you won't need it for long you just put it down get the research going and then replace it later. So there's five to start with and the next five will come up shortly. So I'm going to show you how to automate this very easily. The red science is very easy to do. Uh, don't get overwhelmed. Uh, it's easy to think, oh shit, this needs a lot of things. I need to get these sorted. It, it, trust me, it's, it's, not, it's not too hard. You can do it without too much difficulty. So that's going to be all that we need there. And I'll also research the next 10 as well while we're going. Now while that's building, I'm going to need a couple more inserters. I think I have enough uh, enough transport belt as well to do me. Because what we'll be doing now is we'll be using this uh, copper input and this iron plate input and we're going to be doing something with it to then output red science. Now over here you'll notice that I don't have any coal coming in and the reason for that is I uh, I couldn't be bothered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you do that little trick that I showed you with the wood and that might actually be a handy place of getting rid of all this wood that I'm ending up with as I run around and, and try and knock trees down and things. And later what I'll do is I'll come up with a better solution for it all. Now this needs to be on the other side of the belt because inserters go um, to the far side. So there's our automation. That's up and done. Next thing we're going to need is electronics. The reason being is we need assembly machines too for things that require up to four ingredients. Now, Assembly Machine 2 will cover pretty much everything that you're going to need in the game. Uh, Automation 3 will create the Assembly Machine 3, and that's just a faster version of Assembly Machine 2. So let's get this electronics cracking, because that's going to be our smart inserters as well. Now naturally this is all, o all over the place. So we'll just open this up, throw in whatever we picked up there, and then throw in our wood. So that's all running automatically now. So we need to build two assembly machine ones. The first is going to be used for the preliminary operation, where what we do is we take our iron plate and we turn it into something else. So we use an inserter that 
take the iron plate, put it into the assembler, which is going to be an iron gear wheel. And we're going to take that and we're going to put it on a belt. Now I'm going to want it to go on that side of the belt because over here what I'm going to have is this running in. Now this isn't going to be a particularly pretty layout. I'm just trying to show the concept behind what we're trying to do. Okay, so that will do that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use an inserter to take these two rawls and put that into something else. I'm going to use a belt to kind of illustrate the gap between them. And then we're going to take take those uh, red signs and put it into the lab. Now what I'll need to do is run some power to all of it. So what I need to do there is actually run it one further if I can. Now in all of these layouts you'll want to make bigger ones for your game because you will need uh, quite a bit of capacity. So for red science generally I use a single gear maker and four uh, assemblers creating red science and that does me for a very long time generally. Okay, so this is giving us our power now what I will do is I'll run it down to here. Now if you run while holding down left click, it'll place them at the right interval. That is to say as far as apart as they can. So, we're now making our gear wheels. Things are going along nicely and that's coming up here to this assembler. Now what we're going to do is create red science it will take what it needs and it will output the red science to here. This will come up here and it will be automatically inserted into the lab. And that my friends is how you automate red science. Fairly simple all you need is yeah, to basically get the iron plate and the copper in the same place, change the iron plate into a gear wheel and then throw that all into an inserter to make a red science. I think that uh, that will do us for this uh, tutorial, so thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one.